Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa from Wild Woman Bushcraft. The last trips are always in the middle of the snow, ice and coldness. And today, here it is spring everywhere. The sun is shining, okay, in the moment not, but um, the flowers are open. I see the first butterfly this year and I thought that it would be perfect to stay here for an overnight. Uh, I had a great food with me. I want to sleep the first time this year in my hammock and it will be excellent. If you want, you can join me. Here at this small creek grows the water thress. This is a very tasty plant. Um, you can eat it directly when you have it from a um, river that is or a creek that is um, yeah, moving, not um, from seas or some um, water that is standing. And this is a very healthy plant. Uh, many people use them in the springtime to bring the poison out of the body. It has a lot of vitamin C and it is appetizing. You have more appetite when you eat this and it brings your stomach um, yeah, in, the right, um, in the right point. It is very, very delicious. I like it in the salad or in a potato soup. Yeah, nice. All here behind me is the beaver area. I know this place. Um, I was here um, maybe three years ago and everything is different now. Everything is water, the trees are fallen by the beaver, the ways are full of water and you cannot go over them. Everything other like I know, but this is not bad. It is, yeah. It is great when you think you know everything and you go to a place where you know how it looks and then everything looks different. This is a typical beaver slide here. The beaver slide into the water.
this tree was bite by the beaver as I was here in the last years. And it is still standing, but now it is soon moving. It is unbelievable that a beaver can let fall a tree in this size. It is so big, but it's not impossible for the beaver. The hazelnut flower is open now. It is every year so amazing. We are waiting so long for the spring and then from one day to the other the spring is there. A woodpecker hole. I hear him always in the background. Okay, no not. And this is how amber is in process. You see here those little insect? I will go now up here and searching on top for an, a nice place to stay overnight and maybe I had a great view to the river, we will see. The first half of the hill is finished but with a backpack with so much weight, it is not so easy. I've done it, now I just need a little break. At this area I was never before, only uh, down in the near of the river 
and now I found here those hidden wood like looks beautiful not like that I want to go swim with it in the summertime because it is the water is not so high and not so clear but I have in my area not so many lakes into the wood and so it is nice to see it Another small hidden sea. How can people be so silly? They let fly helium balloons at a birthday party or a wedding and know exactly that they are coming down anywhere in the nature and are lying there for the next hundred years. I, I had no words for such silly people. The balloon is too high. If it was a little bit closer than the ground, I can touch them and bring it at home. But yeah, it is too far away, too high. I think I will make my camp right here. And I chose this place because I can see around but uh, there is nothing in the closer area what is dangerous for me like um, dead trees or um, hunting, hunter space, house or something else. And here it is a little bit, um, it goes a little bit down and there I want to make my fire here where my backpack is because so the light of the fire is only down here and nobody around can see it and somewhere there I want to um, make my hammock. But now I just go a little bit around and check the closer area if there is something I need to know. Um, I look especially for the signs of a wild boar because um, I notice from the past that this here is a wild boar area and I don't want to meet them. And this is also the reason why I don't take my dogs with me today because I don't want that they um, had a fight with the wild boars. So today I see no signs till now from the wild boars but I just want to check it. I found nothing, only the excrements of a fox, you know the fox. Um, making his excrements always at tree stumps to mark his area and I see some of them and there was woodworkers here and make trees out but the trees are away so I don't think that they are coming again when they are coming, I can't change it. Our woods are not so big that there is no human inside. I just can go so far away if it's possible and um, hit me so that nobody can see me. But it can be always that someone found me in the woods. I can't change it.
those two uh, trees are my hammock trees. At first I chose one here, but there, there was the distance too big and I had to choose those tree hacker and when the space between the trees is too much I can't fix my amok there. So I go to the other side. Today I use the DD hammock with the mosquito cover. There are no mosquitoes there in springtime, not so far, but um, the mosquito cover makes um, the hammock inside a little bit warmer. So for the cold season it is good too. The next step is fix the line for the top.
The setup is ready, the top is ready, the hammock is ready, the sleeping pad and the sleeping bag also. And now I go to the sea and um, try to get some water in the dry bag for the fire later, that everything is safe. I have always a little bit more water with me. If something happened, I had enough water. And I also look for some stones for the campfire. Today I have two chicken legs to eat and I want to make them directly over the fire so I have to build a construction for it. Mm -hmm. 